wake you in camp. It's 3 a.m. It's always 3 a.m. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for hopping back on into this video. Back again with my PJs on. Let's get into the reason why you're really here. We're about to make a drawing at one color. Only one. And what color is it, you might ask? Well, purple. We're doing purple. We're doing purple. Y'all can't even see the whole outfit. I give up. Imagine me in purple. I'm in purple right now. So now that you know the color. The reason why I chose purple is, to me, purple feels royal. It feels very elegant. So I got this idea from Temi. So make sure to show Temi some love. She uses Copic markers and she uses it to fill in a coloring book with one color. But in this drawing, we're starting from scratch. Now before y'all say anything, hear me out. Black and white are not colors. Y'all hear that? Let me look this up because I might be wrong. The shades. So I'm going to be using black and white. So I don't want to hear nothing. Anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into this purple drawing. Meet me at the desk. Bring your purples. Your purple, your, bring your purple oil pastels. So let's begin. This is my little setup for my oil pastels. This is where I put all my juicy colors and uh, all these different brands. It was a little difficult to find all the purples. I'm not gonna lie, because some of them look purple, but some of them were also, you know, blue. To me, if it's red and it's on the bluer spectrum of red, then it's purple. You know what I mean? Let's not argue. This is purple. Uh, so I got all my purples from all the brands I got. I think I have about four or five brands. And yeah, I just kind of stretched them out, kind of laid them out. Look how pretty they look. They're kind of nasty, but here's white and black. Don't come at me. They're not colors. So this is the color I started with, something a little dark. Um, but I wanted to go for a portrait that, you know, screams regal, rich, and just powerful. So I was going with this vibe, and y'all, this drawing was this was not it. This was not it. I was trying to sh change the face shape, and as you can see, change it up. I got I got to switch papers. It was awful. So I went in again. I sketched out a different kind of way. I kind of used the side of the oil pastel to kind of smear it a little bit. To me, this is just a faster way of doodling, but I'll let y'all watch. So looking back at the footage now, I had like jewelry coming down from the air. I wish I would have kept that. It looks so pretty in this sketch. Damn. I wish I could go back, but I can't now. Anyways, once I got the sketch done and kind of smeared it around, I went in with some black. Yes, I went in with some black just to, you know, add some depth, add some contrast, add some value, some deeper value. And then I didn't like it. Uh, it was not... You know, using you know many different oil pastels and only one color of that oil pastel, some of them you really see how bad and translucent they are. You know, with some of the cheaper brand, purple is not it. it, is not it. And I didn't want to give up on this sketch, so I ended up just scraping the layers off and restarting. You know, I, I doing this is very risky, but hear me out. It will make you feel a lot better especially when it goes your way the second time. So I went in with the darker color. Um, the black is very rich and not as uh, translucent as that purple. So I went in with that, started smearing it around. That way I could find my values again and really get a good idea of where I want to put all these, uh, you know, tones. You know what I mean? Actually, this is all the same kind of tone. I mean, it's, it's, it's all purple, but I was kind of losing it in the beginning sketch. But as I was doing this, I really got a lot more confident, especially restarting. And hear me out. This might be a sign. If you're working on something and it's frustrating you, it is okay to restart or paint over something or scrape something off. If it's just not working, scrape it off. You got this. You're an artist. You can do it again. So let me stop rambling. I'll let y'all watch for a couple seconds and then I'm going to interrupt. So I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm interrupting. Uh, so at this point of the drawing, I was getting a little frustrated. I rushed the neck and I rushed the forehead because I was just, I wanted to be done. I wanted to be done. Uh, it was just, it was just kind of getting to me. It was taking too long. I get really impatient. But the show must go on. You know, the forehead isn't that bad, but let me tell you, the ear and the neck, 
Don't look at it up close. It's none of your business. Oh my gosh, hurry up. Like, why is it taking so long to finish the damn forehead? <sighs> I'm waiting. As I mentioned, don't look at the ear up close. I will find you. So the hair was actually the funnest part uh, because it did not take too long because as always, I kind of give up sometimes and I rust stuff. So I started to put, you know, some values down. I wanted the roots to be dark and I wanted her ends to be like really light and curly. So I started putting everything down. I was not feeling it for a hot minute because I was just, it was just looking a little basic. It was looking really basic and look how muddy it looks. Ugh. But the saving grace was when I went in with my little scraper and I started scraping. Oh, and look, look, wait, wait, he hear me out, wait for it. This did not take too long at all. I was just like, oh, okay, I like this. I went in with some lighter colors, darker colors, just added more value and some color. And oh, look, it, so f close up, it doesn't look like nothing. It doesn't look like anything, but from far away, let me tell you. So for the background, I wanted to do something really basic because I was already over this drawing. I'm not going to lie. I, it, it was taking too long and I'm impatient. So went in with uh, like this... Uh, I don't know, periwinkle purple or something. And I took a rag and kind of smeared it around. And then I added like a white circle in the background. I'll let y'all watch. Scratchy scratch. Yes, I had to add the scratchy scratch in this. Look how it just, it, let me tell you, it did add to it a lot. I did not add too much scratchy scratch to it because, uh, you know, I didn't know what the layers underneath was going to look like. So, I didn't want to mess it up, but look at this. It turned out better than I expected. I really like the idea. Here's a little up close if you find it. Okay. Thank you for joining me. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know down below. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, also, please let me know down below. I always like the suggestions. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell so you know when I post because I am very random. I haven't seen y'all in like a month. But uh, I'm coming back for spooky season. Just you prepare. You get ready. And prepare yourself. Cause it's gonna get wild. Bye. Bye bye. Get my house. Get out my house.